Today's Dash Cam review is about stealth and staying hidden. This is the Street Guardian SG966 3DR. It's a dash cam that's meant to be hidden and hide in plain sight. It's a small camera, but it has a lot of surprises. But it also makes a few trade-offs in order to make this small, concealable form factor possible. In this video, I'm gonna tell you what the SG966 3DR does well, what it doesn't do well, and whether you should buy it. By the way, Street Guardian did provide this dash cam to me for free for review purposes, but it's going to get fully tested with brutal honesty. One thing you'll notice about the 3DR is how different its design is. Most dash cams combine the front-facing camera with a windshield-mounted DVR, but this dash cam's DVR is a separate unit that you can hide away. This interesting design has three benefits. First, it allows for a much stealthier setup, so your cameras are much smaller, better hidden. Just have a look. You can barely see the cameras from the inside. The second benefit is that it keeps your DVR away from the blazing sun. So if you live in a very hot climate where your vehicle gets cooked by the sun for eight hours a day, you won't have to worry about the DVR overheating or getting heat damage. And third, the separate DVR also makes menu navigation easier. Since you don't have to croon your neck upward and press tiny buttons on a vertical surface like some sort of weird highway astronaut. But there is a negative aspect to this design. It makes your 3DR's installation a little trickier since it has extra cables that need to be routed differently in order for it to be properly hidden. When I brought it to my installer, he looked at the package, saw the separate DVR and said, what the heck is this? But the install did take a bit longer, so I got charged an extra hour of labor for it. This dash cam will have very special appeal to those of you who own high-end luxury vehicles for two reasons. One, this dash cam doesn't spoil your vehicle's appearance with a chunky DVR, so it keeps your vehicle looking nice, clean, and factory. But two, and most importantly, anyone who owns a nice, expensive vehicle knows that there are a lot of weird, jealous haters out there who target luxury vehicles and will key your vehicle, rip off its hood ornament, because sometimes people are jerks. Especially if you drive a nice vehicle that they're jealous of. And this is where the 3DR's parking mode comes in. The parking mode keeps your dash cam rolling while your very nice vehicle is parked and the ignition is off. So if someone messes with your ride while it's parked, this dash cam will catch them in the act and they won't even see the tiny cameras. The 3DR's parking mode comes with four options. The 30 frames per second mode captures regular video motion and audio while you're parked. The other one, two, and five FPS modes take regular snapshots and combine them into a time-lapse style video that doesn't include audio. I'd recommend just using the 30 FPS mode because the lower FPS modes are only useful if you're using a lower capacity micro SD card that just doesn't have enough room for extra recording. As you can see in the sample parking mode footage, the image quality is nice and clear no matter which mode you end up using. The 3DR is a dual channel camera, so you get a front and back view. Very good for recording aggressive tailgaters, capturing rear end collisions, or catching sneaky vandals on camera. The 3DR's cameras also have a fixed collar, so you can easily rotate the camera to get the perfect viewing angle. The 3DR also incorporates a multi-function remote button. So if you want to save your current and preceding clip, just press the red button. I like this because if I get into a car crash, I don't want to think about how to save the footage or struggle with tiny buttons on a DVR. I just want to slam a big red button. Most of Street Guardian's other dash cam models don't even have backlit buttons, which I've complained about in previous reviews. So they went and hooked us all up with a big red brightly lit button to shut us up. And I love that. But on the other hand, the remote button is multifunction, which is a mixed blessing. Tap once to save the current and preceding clip, do a long three second press to turn the Wi-Fi on and off for when you're using the Street Guardian smartphone app, or do a long 10 second press to turn off the dash cam completely. These functions are useful, but chances are you're not gonna remember these shortcuts. This is a set it and forget it dash cam, and you won't use these functions for months at a time. Street Guardian should have added a cheat sheet with the button commands and stuck it onto the back of the DVR. I put together my own cheat sheet and taped it onto the inside of my glove compartment, just so I'll never forget the shortcuts. I'll leave a download link in the video description so you guys can print out your own. And yes, I did say Wi-Fi. That's because the 3DR is compatible with the Street Guardian iPhone and Android app, so you can review your footage or change the dash cam settings through your smartphone. Very handy if someone damages your vehicle and you need to show the footage to a responding police officer. 
The 3DR also comes with a polarizing filter to reduce windshield glare. This is useful. And this dash cam's build quality is good. I actually dropped this dash cam accidentally while I did these B-roll shots and it all held up very nicely despite my slippery grip. Now, for the most important part. Just how good is the 3DR's video footage? Let's have a look. The footage is nice and clear in most driving conditions, but I will be honest, it's not the best image quality that I've ever seen out of a Street Guardian dash cam. It's a bit softer and it has a bit of trouble reading license plates on fast moving vehicles at nighttime. I own the Street Guardian DC Pro Plus and the footage is more sharp than the 3DR, but even then I wouldn't worry. The 3DR's footage, as is, is still very usable and captures most of the details that you will need during an incident. License plates are readable during the daytime, and during the early evening, and when traffic is stopped at nighttime. You can even read out very small road signs after you zoom in using video editing software. And Street Guardian tells me that a firmware update is coming soon that will improve the image quality, and I'm confident that they'll deliver on that. Like all new Street Guardian dash cams, the 3DR has standard, medium, and high quality recording options. The differences between them are minor, and you should be just fine with using medium quality for pretty much all of your driving. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Street Guardian SG966 3DR. So, what's the verdict here? The 3DR is a terrific option for drivers whose priority is keeping the dash cam hidden, stealthy, and keeping their vehicle looking beautiful and factory. Some people really care about concealability and stealthiness, and it's great that Street Guardian designed a dash cam for this type of customer. If concealability is your priority, the 3DR is the way to go, and I'd recommend it to you. However, if you just want a regular dash cam with the easiest installation process, the 3DR is not for you. While I am happy to recommend the SG966 3DR, it does doesn't get a highly recommended rating for me only because this particular dash cam is meant for a very specific type of customer. It's still a good dash cam, but just not the best option for everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this review video. And I want you to tell me in the comments below, do you care if your dash cam is visible? How big of a priority is concealability for your setup? And don't forget to click that like button if you found this video informative and helpful. And of course, subscribe to this channel. You won't regret it. I promise. Bye.